My name's Avi Marsh, been not training jiu-jitsu all that long, on and off for about two years. We decided um, I'm a leader um, in this community and do a lot of stuff, and I'll talk about that in a minute, but decided to expose the men I lead to something that would push them and cause them to um, not so much be physically stressed as much as they would be mentally stressed. So about two years is, is my extent of training jiu-jitsu. I have three companies. Uh, one is I'm the lead pastor of Epic Church here in Decatur, Alabama, where Tent Planet is. And then I have a consulting company called Lead Now. And then I also have something called Warrior Evolution that trains men to be true men. And um, one of the places we utilize to help them do that is here at Tent Planet, which does an amazing job, by the way. I had, I had trained martial arts for the first part of my life, probably for about 10 to 15 years uh, in the military. I took up kickboxing and kick box pretty much all over the world and then became a police officer and got um, my instructor certification on self-defense but never ever wanted to find myself on the ground. The unfortunate thing is in every fight in in the world it ends to the ground but I was just to lack of a better term I was terrified of it because I sucked at it and jiu-jitsu was one of the places I knew that would force you to deal with what you're uncomfortable with what you're what you're afraid of and it's one of the best martial arts, I think, that's transferable to life because life gives you things you're uncomfortable with or you're scared of. And learning how to breathe and navigate through that was one of the reasons I chose Jiu-Jitsu. I just wanted to make myself as uncomfortable as I, as I possibly could. I've, I've been here for about 45 minutes today and um, I'm, I weigh about 240 and uh, Brandon goes a good 170. and. Nothing like having a 170 pound guy turn into 250 pounds and crush you for 45 minutes to, to cause you to be uncomfortable. So every time I'm here, I learn something about me, which is, which is the most important thing. Now I learn things about jujitsu, what's the next move and how do you navigate that problem. But I learned something about me and my inability to handle stress. Um, you're always growing to get better. So honestly, my life gets better um, every time I come here. <laughs> It's, if you're eat, sleeping, and breathing and a human being, you need to be in jiu-jitsu. I'm not downplaying all the other martial arts at all. They all have their gift to the world and their gift to human beings. But the truth is, jiu-jitsu is one of, the, um, one of the arts that you can train wide open with little to no injury. So if you're gonna take up kickboxing, you just need to know you can't really go 100% without sustaining a serious injury. So you're always hitting pads, you're always, you're always holding back. And so you have to mentally understand that when you're in a fight, you, you don't need to do that. But however you train is how you fight. So that's the gap in something that's like this. And while jujitsu is like this, it's a pressure-based and strategically based martial arts, in my opinion. I'm not an expert, that's just how I see it. And so you can come in here and go wide open and then you, you get to understand um, life a little bit better. So the gift in jujitsu is to tap out. The gift in jiu-jitsu is the timer goes off. Life doesn't have a tap out and life doesn't have a timer. So jiu-jitsu is the best place to learn for yourself why you fail in life. Why do you mess, why do you blow up with your wife, your, your husband? Why do you blow up on your three-year-old kid who doesn't know to pick up his toys? What are the pressures in life that are making you lose it? Come down to Tent Plant Jiu-Jitsu, put yourself in a safe, controlled environment where they have really good instructors so that you can learn something about you everybody needs to do this so if you're out there thinking about signing up honestly in my humble opinion 10th planet in decatur or muscle shows is one of the best places to do it because their instructors really they really care about you and they don't care about the business per se um, they care about you becoming the best version of you and they help you with that um, and i see it time and time again somebody is choked out and the discussion later goes to well, why did you lose control? Why can't you breathe through it? You know you're not gonna die, what's the big deal? Why are you slapping the mat when you get up? Because the truth is, if you're doing that, you're losing control somewhere else out there. And this will help you be a better version of you. Thank you so much. You're welcome, dog.